Hello, my name is Nick Bensema, and I've created the first basic interpreter for the DCPU-16. Should look pretty familiar to you. Um, the idea being, if you know how to use a Commodore 64, you should know how to use one of these. So, keyboard handling is a little weird, and uh, run. Alright, and we've got our hello world. We want to wrap it in a loop. Let's insert some lines. 15 next x run and it does what we want and let's use the screen editor which works much the same way comma semicolon x all right all right you know what i'm going to do the rest of these in white because it's a little bit uh renders a little bit better on youtube with the compression and all and uh Let's uh, let's type in the program that uh, I would. Uh, to be honest, the whole reason I uh, I wrote this interpreter was so that I could run this program sort of in the way that it's intended to be run. There we go. Okay, I don't have a proper file system, but I'm faking it with a little uh, directory program, and I have three demo programs that are all in the crude RAM disk. Uh, Star Trek, Eliza, and 10 Print. So 10 Print is the random graphics program I just showed you. Eliza is a little conversation simulator from the 70s that's kind of too slow to run because it's a 100 kilohertz processor and it's, uh, yeah. Uh, Star Trek is a game that's also from the 70s. Runs actually fast enough to play. Let's run it. Load. And uh, start... Well, I just type S, it just uses the first letter anyway. And you run it, and you enter a random number, and for some reason the source code uses the ASC function to derp around. But anyway, yeah, here we are. Here's our enterprise, and we press zero for help. There's nothing in this sector, we're in condition green, so uh, let's use the long range sensors, see what's around. All right, nothing in the area, so let's use our warp engines. Well, let's use our... I don't know why the speed fluctuates. I'm using this web thing, and looks like we can't go northeast, at least not directly because of that star that's in the way, but we can uh, use some decimal magic to go north by northeast. Uh, warp factor four. How? And it's calculating our route out of the sector, and then it's calculating our route through the galactic map, and then it'll draw a new uh, short-range sensor map for us presently. And still nothing here. Long-range sensors, derp, 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 derp. Hey, looks like there's some action to the right of us. Let's go east. Uh, one. Uh, warp engines, two, no, one, all right, and warp factor one so that we can go one sector over, zoom, 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 and this will take a moment because we're all the way on the left side. Oh, we're getting blowed up. Let's see, which one of these is... Uh, Phasers. All right, so I'm gonna throw 200, I think. 95. Holy crap! It's gonna take a lot to blow this guy up. All right, 500. All right. You know what? I'm actually taking more damage by firing my phasers than I am by uh, getting hit by the Klingon. Uh, so this is probably a really bad idea, so uh, I'm going to just fire a hundred, finish him off, pow. Alright, now I don't really know how to dock properly with a starbase, so I'm going to end this here. Um, let's see, will it let me, oh, yeah, I thought I could press break. There's still a bunch of bugs here, and I figure that since I'm supporting the screen editor, 
Uh, I might as well port all the other, you know, aspects of the Commodore 64 that I liked. Like, uh, let's see, I know that lowercase text is uh, pretty popular, so I'm going to do uh, lowercase and, of course, reverse, uh, um, oh wait, some color and some reverse video. And then there's going to be uh, capital H-E-L-O, capital W-O-R-L-D, and, of course, and, yep. That uh, looks about right. L shift I to list, and of course it expands the token of the print. So we could type that. Uh, well, hold on. Print C J one four two to get back into uppercase. And if we do the ten print C H two o five dot five plus R shift N one second G shift O ten and we list it and it expands to what we like the random graphics program links to the everything is uh, in the description uh, I hope you like it I hope it's useful and I hope the game actually comes out